Well, welcome back everyone to Planet Zoo in VR. Yes, it's been quite some time since we've actually done the first one of these. My name is Leaf and as always, it's so great to have you guys here. Uh, I'm moving my hands around a little bit, but obviously you guys can't really tell. But with that being said, a lot of awesome creators have reached out to me and wanted to actually be in this one. So, of course, with that being said, this isn't actually Planet Zoo in VR. And also, I do apologize if it is a little bit laggy. Um, VR is just being a little bit finicky recently. Not really sure what is happening there. But I just wanted to pop in here and show you guys everything. So, first on the list, we actually have Orwell Zoo by Mr. Andrew... Well, by Mr. Wyatt Andrews, my my bad buddy, but he was the first one to reach out and provide the file for this amazing park. So we're actually just going to pop in here and walk around and maybe we could find some inspiration along the way. I don't know, just very awesome stuff. So I am using DOVR and it's just basically a 360 photo viewer as well as video viewer. Unfortunately, we can't really record videos in VR in Planet Zoo just yet. So in the meantime, we're just taking stills everywhere and then we're just experiencing them. But you know what? We have a lot of awesome things in here and I do apologize as well. My audio is going to be a little bit weird whenever I like turn around like this. So as you can see, we already have like the Orwell clock tower over there. And oh no, just some beautiful theming over here. So this is his Asia area and let's just continue on. So this is a shot that I think a lot of you guys might remember. Uh, I remember he posted this one on like Bro Nation, Reddit, literally everywhere. And everyone was just so amazed. Just like this was when those faux cliffs really started to like take form, I suppose. Um, it's just so freaking beautiful and I love being in here. It's so amazing. And again, I do apologize for the stuttering. Not really sure what's happening there, but I think I just need to like reset it every single time. Uh, I'm not sure, but with that being said, let's just continue on. This is a little bit more so near his entrance. So this is the flamingo uh, part. I'm just gonna circle back right over here just so we could get this a little bit more smoother. I'm not really sure what's happening with it, but I guess that's how we're doing it today. So that's always awesome. But with that being said, the American Flamingos would go in that exhibit. Unfortunately, I don't even have them installed right now. So just imagine a bunch of pink things over there, but you can already tell just how perfect of a view that everything is shaping up to have. I mean, why it is such a... Um, monster at doing all this realistic zoo theming i worked with him in the past back on zoo and tower where's my mic just so i know i'm not like yelling right at you guys and he just has this beautiful style it's so clean it's so realistic and i really do hope you guys check out his channel too by the way i'm going to be including all the channels of all the people who have built the zoos in here once we actually get to them uh but yeah definitely do check everyone out in the description but moving on from here, this is his primate house. And unfortunately, there aren't really too many primates in here right now. I'm not sure if he used modded ones or if it's just all implied, but I'm trying to keep my head like still, but it's so hard to, you know, not look all around with you guys. But it's just so insane to see like the level of detail in here. I don't know, it's just always so cool to see these things from a different view. I don't know. I hope you guys can take away some inspiration as well. I'm gonna make a quick jolt to the head right here. Ready? There we go. So I think gorillas actually go in here, so that's pretty interesting. But just the beautiful detail all around here. The lights, all that plaster up there. It's really so inspirational. Oh my gosh, in this exhibit. I was floored when I first saw this exhibit, so I think we're on like the fifth one? Yeah, so this is a Western Chimpanzee exhibit, and I don't know, I just love it. Just this whole section over here, is this too laggy for you guys? I'm just trying to make sure. It's not the worst on your view, so I hope you guys can forgive me on that. Hopefully by the next one, I get this all taken care of and figured out. I would like to do one in JWE as well, it sounds pretty fun in regards to that. But I don't know. Just amazing detail with like the climbing structures, being able to like experience it from this view right here. Unfortunately, we can't really walk around all that much, but just being able to see 
the whole scale of everything and how well it all comes together. And even the bird safe glass all the way up there, it just really makes you feel like, I don't know, makes it feel perfect. And of course we have the hippo area over here as well. Oh my gosh, it's actually smooth. Uh, would you believe it? So, of course the river hippopotamus over here. You can see the, uh, I wish you guys could see my hands right now. Because I would love to like point out everything that I want to talk about. But I guess I could just look ahead at it. But you can see the grate over there that they use to like drain the water. And of course they have a little bit of a slope down there so the hippos can get down there. As well as the keepers when they're cleaning out the exhibits. Um, and yeah, just seeing everything else, the white throated monitor lizard all the way over there. Just a nice small side exhibit, I love seeing that. And I'm not sure if those are fans or if those are just weird light fixtures, but I love them. And of course, look at all the detail on those roofs, oh my gosh, that's all custom. Wyatt, you're a freak, I'll tell you that much. But of course... We gotta see the big open plains exhibit. Um, I'm gonna reset this view uh, one more time. Maybe it's the next one? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So, okay, so I actually do have my hand now. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna push that over there. But, I don't know, I just really do love seeing this. He did such an amazing job at making everything come together here. And of course, like we have this beautiful seating area over here. I believe that's going to be a restaurant right over there as well. This is based off of the San Diego Zoo, if you guys can't already tell, with the beautiful um, uh, Balboa clock tower, I forget, but oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Just seeing everything come together here with all the faux rock bankings, it's just so inspirational. Wyatt, if you're out there, I friggin love this, come build in one of my zoos, I miss you buddy. But of course, here we are in Predator Trails, I believe it's the name of this section, with the African Wild Dogs, and they're right up with the glass over here. I just love this, just like, these different habitats are just structured so differently, and you can still see, like, you know, all the detail in here with, like, all the trails that the animals would go down, kind of like, right down there, just seeing all the wild dogs in here. It's so beautiful, and of course you can see a little bit of backstage over there. Keepers can kind of come through that door right there for cleaning and stuff. It's so beautiful. Just seeing like all the realism in here. We were just right over there, I want to say. Now we're actually at the striped hyena, and the camera's being a little bit wonky again, so we're just going to reload. I did not even... I did not expect me to get that right there, but Striped Hyena, of course, made by Jen. Amazing job. Um, just beautiful. Look at that big log. This really does help give you a sense of scale as well. I know scale in Planet Zoo is a little bit difficult, but being able to, like, put yourself right here, and of course, I'm kind of short, so that ceiling is, like, all the way up there, but, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. By the way, we could also change, like, the brightness as well. So if we want it to be a little bit brighter, maybe a little bit more saturated as well. I don't know, I just love this. This is so fun. Okay, maybe not that saturated. Cool. It's just so cool. And what else do we have, Wyatt? What, what do you have for me? Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I guess it doesn't want to work for me today. That's always great. Wild dog. Hyena. Ah, uh, yes, this is my bread and butter right here. Wyatt, this is my favorite part of all of Orwell. So guys, this is the Desert Dome. This is absolutely beautiful. I think it's based off of the Henry Dorley Zoo's Desert Dome, but let's just pop right inside, guys. So he did base it off of several different deserts all across the globe. Uh, not really sure what's happening here. Let me just switch to something different um hopefully that works yeah hopefully that works it's just so laggy for some reason i have no clue why maybe if i change the head tracking speed it's not the worst now all right well anyways he based this off of like the different kind of deserts all across the globe okay no it's actually making me violently ill so i'm gonna change that back to down 
And if we change that right here, yeah, I don't have the best hands, so it's not really the easiest thing to do. But let's just move right in here. I just want to get right into the good stuff. So, of course, I'm going to reset this. <laughs> I didn't expect this to have so many problems today, but here we go. Um, yeah, just need to reset it like that. And of course, that is far beyond where we are. So we could actually pop right in here. Here we go. This is a little bit more tolerable. So let's pop right in here. And of course, we're starting off in the African section, I believe. And just seeing the scale of this, seeing those support beams, seeing everything come into play here. It's just so beautiful. And I don't know, I really want to visit this so badly. No, no, just all the detail on the small exhibits everywhere. Just seeing, like, even those, like, how do you come up with that? Like, all those fences and stuff, it's so beautiful. And of course, prattling on a little bit more, we get to see this beautiful little exhibit over here. Uh, unfortunately, why it's been a while since I've watched your episode. <laughs> so, I forget what actually goes in these exhibits. Uh, I should have brushed up on my history before I actually popped up in here, but... I don't know, I hope it really helps to give everyone, like, a good sense of scale. And even realism, too. So you have, like, the, uh, fire, uh, pole, pulley thing right there. Uh, you can see, like, all the staff stuff up there. And we will actually pop up right over here to actually see the thing from the top. And you can see all the staff, kind of, you know, all the staff access up here and all the backstage. It's just so beautiful how well it hides it, because if we pop back here, you can kind of see a little bit of that stuff up there, and you can kind of make out some stuff maybe a little bit further down there. Uh, but just hiding it so well. I don't know, it comes off so beautifully. I don't know, amazing job, Wyatt. And of course, I wanted to pop up here on the tower itself just to, like, look down. I... Oh my gosh, just seeing everywhere where we've been. It's so freaking beautiful, and seeing where you have to go, there's just so much that's gonna happen. And I don't know, I'm very excited. And of course, here is the little zoo store area. I just love this little entrance area, you did such a good job. Ignore all that stuff over there. But, I don't know, the Flamingo Cafe, seeing all the beautiful architecture everywhere, those support beams, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. Even the freaking. What, what do you call that? Stone brick texture? That's beautiful. How do you come up with that idea? I have no clue. Well, of course, we must carry on. And do forgive me for one second. I know this is by my boy Zoov, but I actually forgot the name of it. It's the Tre... Tregembo? Tregembo Zoo. And I took a couple shots in here just to really show off like Zoof style and stuff like that. It's very realistic, very clean, um, and it's just so beautiful. So you have this nice little plaza over here, beautifully planted, and you can actually just feel, I don't know, it just makes you feel like you're in actual zoo. It makes you feel like, you know, I don't know, I like it. I really, really like it. So over here, um, we have this nice little habitat, and we have this nice little plaza area. Uh, I didn't take too many pictures in here because it looks like some of the stuff was a little unfinished, but I just want to show off like what was done, yada yada. But I don't know, just looking at these faux river banks, it makes me really, really happy. So amazing job to Zoof on all that, but listen, we gotta get back to Estan. So Estan, if you guys don't know, does some of the most beautifully themed things in the entire game, especially with stuff like this. So of course, this is his Pine Creek. I believe this is Pine Creek Zoo and just his storytelling in the African section is so beautiful. Ignore how blurry that is over there. Don't really know why Planet Zoo blurs certain textures for me, but I don't know. It's just so beautiful. I never noticed that before. It's kind of like an Egyptian walkway. I love that S stand. But of course, prattling on a little bit more, we have some nice big tortoises over there. And of course, we have our white rhinos over there, and you get to see the big tree in the background. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. It's just so cool just to see your zoos from like this angle. And it's just so freaking fantastic. Even the Lost Creek sign right over there. You have the otters right over there as well, and there's the entrance. 
I don't know, I just really do love popping through all these. There's Big Brody right there. Saying hi to Big Brody, everyone. But the Wild Burger Cafe over there. I'm loving this. As Stan, if you're watching, I, I hope you I hope this gives you the inspiration to get back into Lost Creek. It's one of my favorites. Uh, even seeing the petting zoo down there, I love this shot right here. Just like all the heights of the buildings and like just all the stuff back there, the trail. It feels so welcoming and I love seeing it. Even the curbs down there. Those are all custom. How the hell do you do that, uh, Stan? And of course, I think this might have been from Bold or Beezy. I genuinely forget. I do apologize, but of course we have the beautiful African line right over there. Remastered by Havoc, by the way. And good boy. And literally everyone, I think. But, I don't know. I just really do love seeing this. And of course, all your educational signage over there. This zoo is just one of my favorites. I love Lost Creek. Where's it Pine Creek? I forget. I genuinely forget. We just saw it a couple seconds ago, but... Oh, we just got into Limpopo and it's lagging. Oof, Zoof. So, of course, this is Limpopo Zoo by Zoofluencer. Um, am I still facing my mic? Yes, I am. I oftentimes get very, like, dizzy in VR. So this is kind of funny. So, yep, that's a little bit of a spoiler for a little bit further in. But, of course, this is Limpopo Zoo by Zoofluencer. I believe Lider also helped out a little bit in here. Um, but yeah, he helped out with the African wild dogs over there, but it's just so beautiful. Zoofluencer has this wonderful clean style that no one else can really imitate too well, but it's just so amazing to see how well this is all coming out. And of course, backstage as well, Zoofluencer does literally the most with backstage, and it's so beautiful how clean his style is. I don't know. I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, why is it lagging? Hello? Let me try resetting it like that. Okay. Back to normal? We're- okay. We're not in Sugar Pine just yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Look at the zebras! Look at them. I did want to see this view, though, over here. Just seeing how beautiful, like, all the fencing is. How well all these areas kind of mold in together. Even all those rock work down there. I feel like no one ever uses those temple pieces anymore, but I don't know, Zoof is bringing that right back up, but it's just turning out so beautifully in here. Amazing job, buddy. And of course, I wanted to get like nice and up close to the zebras. I never get to in real life, so actually doing this in VR is pretty fun. I don't know, I love it. And you get to see like all the details, all the pipe work over there. Well, that's not pipe work, that's more like a rod that you know, the door slides on, so it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Fennec Fox exhibit as well. Um, I'm just making sure that, like, my headset is, like, not broken or anything. Uh, let's pop back out and reset. Yeah, I apologize. This is kind of unorthodox, but, uh, I, hopefully we can get it fixed for next time, like I said, but, yeah, this is a Fennec Fox exhibit. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's insane. And, of course, African painted dogs over here. I believe Lider helped out with this exhibit. So amazing job to the both of you gentlemen. You guys are literally like creating a new era of Planet Zoo and a new era of inspiration, if I do say so myself. It's very amazing to see that happen. But we're gonna end it over in Sugar Pine. I apologize, guys, but listen. Leaf is ending this the way Leaf wants to end it. So, of course, I wanted to pop back into Sugar Pine and show off what we have done so far. And I'm getting kind of sick in VR right now, so I'm hoping to end this kind of quickly. But, of course, this is our Grizzly Bear exhibit over here. Just giving you a good sense of scale over here of, like, what I want to accomplish with, like, all the theming and stuff. I don't know. It just feels so nice. And I also took all these pictures in the rain just because we haven't really had one of those just yet. But, of course, here we have the Gray Seal exhibit and just seeing, like, all these sight lines start to come into play. It just helps you feel like, you know, this is your zoo. This is what you're living in. This is the world that you made. Is that a little too deep? I don't know, but I don't know. I still love it nonetheless. It's so nice to see. And of course, here we have the little bit of the sea lion and seal kind of area. Uh, I'm gonna pop back out just so I could reload this godforsaken tracking system. There we go. 
and we're gonna pop back over here. I don't know, I love this area so much, just the sea lion and seal statues over there. It just helps you feel, oh, it really does welcome you in. And of course we have the wolves over here. Yeah, I'm popping back out. I don't care. It's fine. Arctic wolf section over here, just a really, I don't know. I don't know. I'm letting the pictures speak for themselves. How much can I commentate, you know? Of course, over here are the moose. Those are some pretty good moose. And over here are the cougars. Is there anything else? Yeah, so I also have this view over here of like the uh, skyline of Sugar Pine itself. I do apologize for ending this kind of abruptly because I feel like I'm going to puke. But with that being said, we're going to end it on the cougar habitat. I love how all this one came out, so this is one we ended on. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope this really kind of inspired some of you guys kind of seeing stuff from a different view. I apologize for how, like, kind of shoddily put together this was. Um, I just wanted to get this out as soon as possible for all of you guys. But with that being said, next week we're going to have a much better experience. I'll figure out what's going on with, like, all that head tracking and stuff. Hope I gave some of you guys a little bit of motion sickness right there. <laughs> but with that being said, I will take off for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, with that being said, uh, enjoy the view for the next few seconds until I say goodbye. All right, well, take care, guys. I just waved at you even though you can't see it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.